Hey guys, I'm Grant, we're on our second film of Turtle Week, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze. Or as I like to call it, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, we've had our balls cut off in a rush cash in that panders to the lowest common denominator. So in case you haven't guessed, I don't like this film very much. Even as a kid, I didn't like it. I never owned it on video, and for someone who at this age was a turtle freak, that's a pretty goddamn big statement. So let's talk about what's wrong with it, and who knows, I might find some good points in there somewhere. First off, remember that dark gritty tone the first one established, really granting a fantastical situation in some sort of reality? Well that's right out the f***ing window. No shadows, nothing. It all looks like a very cheap and made for TV movie. Now let's talk about the look of the turtles. This time around the filmmakers have purposely made them all cartoony and cutesy poo. Still not the worst, but we'll get into that. Corey Feldman was a great Donatello in the first movie, so let's replace him with Adam Carl, whoever the that is, and completely change the way the character acts. Hey Mikey, surf's up dude! <laughs> now you might remember Splinter emphasised just how dangerous it was for the turtles to be seen in the first movie. But in the second, apparently that doesn't matter anymore. Within five minutes they're out in plain sight and it's not the last time. And that's the rub with this movie. It's taken everything good about the first movie and called a big old turd on top of it. Don't believe me? Let's take a look. The turtles no longer use their weapons. Instead we get sausage link nunchucks, wiffle bats in faces, ties and basically anything to avoid violence. Oh, I forgot that goddamn yo-yo. You know, since parents were up in arms about how violent the first one was. Genius. Shredder? Well, we can't have him be threatening in any way anymore, so let's redesign his costume to make him look like goddamn Purple Rain and turn him into a cartoon villain. Oh, and let's not forget the fact that there's no final battle with him and he kills himself with a dock. Like some wood. Genius. Tatsu. He was a badass in the first film. Hell, they actually deleted a scene in the movie where he killed a kid. But in this one, he's just as stupid and campy as Shredder. Genius. Replacing Judith Hogue with Paige Turco as April. This chick can't act. Like, at all. She stinks. Simple as that. So after all of that, was there anything I actually liked about the movie? Well, for starters, I don't hate the Kino character. I think his subplot is one of the positives in the movie. Especially his interactions with Splinter. Sure he can be annoying at times, but I'd rather have him on screen than April. I knew it. I knew that there was something else going on with those guys. God, she sucks. Splinter, if they changed the puppet, I didn't notice. He still looks great, and Kevin Clash is great as always, so you know, that's a given. This joke. You know, pal, if I had a face like yours, i try to make up for it with some sort of a personality. <laughs> this joke. <gasps> Look, huh? it's Raph. Oh, yeah, a little too Raph. You guys. Lastly, the new subway layer they introduce in this movie. It's very well designed and constructed. I really do love the look of it. It's pretty damn cool. Overall, Secret of the Use is a huge step down in like every department, from script to creature design to acting. By introducing a much more cartoony tone and removing any element of the first film that worked, the filmmakers essentially caved into parents or producers or the studio and lost their balls. And goddamn if it doesn't show on screen. I'm giving it two out of five stars. So, what do you think of Turtles 2? Do you hate it as much as me or do you actually like it? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and share the video. Be sure to subscribe too because we're only two movies into Turtle Week with a lot more to come. You can follow me on Twitter to stay up to date and I'll see you next time for Turtles 3 on another Turtle Review. Ninja, ninja.